Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the project. Now it's time to display the total items and total price over here when we have actually the products in the cart. I mean, if someone clicks add to cart, so cut products will be added to this cart table. And uh, I have made the PID. I have assigned the primary key to this uh, PID field because that was necessary. We did not add that in the starting when we were creating this table, but I have later on added that so we can have only unique a uh, value inside this PID field. Therefore, it has given us the I mean the delete and copy and edit options for this values and for these fields so this was very necessary now we have two uh, records inside this table cart in previous video we, which we added using this or I mean our main website so now we can show them here inside the total items text here so we need to first of all create a function for it uh, after the cart we will create it after the cart function we will create that function here first of all I need to add some comments getting the user IP address this is the function for that and after that this is the cart creating the cart creating the shopping cart okay now after the shopping cart function we'll create another function first of all I will add a comment to it getting the total added items that's it now uh, here I will create a function called total underscore atom atoms two parentheses and after the two curly brackets inside we will write the arguments for this function so the first thing is first which is uh, if is set dollar underscore get and uh, basically if eight underscore cart that is a variable a URL variable does it uh, that is active then what should be done inside the two curly brackets we will write Uh, we'll write something like uh, create a variable first of all we need to make the database variable connection sorry the connection variable co uh, con as global so it uh, can work over here and after that we'll create another variable IP which will be equal to get IP function which is the starting of the page now after that we'll write our query get underscore atoms and it will be equal to here we will write the query select all from cart where IP underscore address is equal to this one okay that's very simple now we'll say run atoms will be equal to mysqli underscore query uh, get sorry connection and comma and then this is the variable get atoms is a reference now after that we will we need to count how many atoms are there specific relevant associated with this specific IP address IP address so very simple you will say count underscore atom this is a new variable simple local variable which will be equal to mysqli underscore number underscore rows and uh, inside this parenthesis we'll write we'll say this is the targeted variable I mean this which has a query 
so that's it in else condition we will put this whole thing or here why because if someone has either clicked it to cart or if someone is in the home page I mean the index page is not clicked so they it should be updated this we will add this uh, function over here so it should be updated with their zero with their one with their two with their three and someone click it will also directly be updated with our I mean the with this function basically so that's simply done now we need to just echo this count items over here below this before the ending curly bracket of the function we simply say echo count underscore items we have echoed that before the function curly bracket and after this else statement so in both cases it will be echoed if it is zero it will also display the result and it it has some products it will also uh, have the result now we can simply uh, call this function total underscore items or here the index.php page somewhere uh, we have this this place or here total items so we can simply inside uh, using php uh, using php starting and ending take inside that we can simply call total underscore items and two parentheses and semicolon that's it control s to save go to the page refresh it and uh, inside the functions page there is birth error syntax error 72 line number 72 line number 72 if I said get caught sorry we have not actually closed this curly bracket over here this f is set now we have actually closed it here so after that the else can also work this curly bracket is for this else statement and this also so and this is for the whole function and we did not add a curly bracket for this f is set condition so therefore now it's okay now it must work refresh says in 96 this is another error functions 96 oh there is one more extra curly bracket I have removed that there was extra additional curly bracket now come here control is to save now you can see uh, undefined variable connection and oh sorry we need to actually put this global inside the else statement as well control is to save now come here press the page and you see two atoms why two atoms because the two atoms we have inside the card table or here there are two atoms associated with this IP address so you can simply see what we did simply created a function called total items we can get the atoms how many atoms the person have added the person has added to the table I mean to their cart the shopping cart we simply use a if a set if cart is set then uh, we have created a simple IP variable local variable and have assigned the whole function which is actually detecting the IP address and then we have 
just executed a query select all from cart where IP address is equal to this IP address very simple and run items mysql query and we have simply counted the atoms using mysql i num underscore rows and we have saved that in the local variable and we have echoed the local variable here before the function function is closing before that we have echoed this and also in the else statement we have also used the same thing as above because if someone has clicked anything and if someone is on the home page so the products will be there directly from the card table so now at this moment if someone clicks again this product I mean this one A to cart I click this this was already added so it cannot be added again I'll click this you can see above total items 3 now I click one more I mean this one you can see total items 4 I click this total items 5 automatically it is up, uh, being updated because whenever you click the page is refreshed directly and it is being updated you can see over here as well it refresh your page your table so you can see there are different product IDs for different products we, which uh, we added to the cart but the IP address is the same you can see 111 so that's we have done uh, we have added the total items here so the customer can see their uh, uh, I mean see their details of the cart how many items they have added now the next part an important part is to adding the price and how if someone clicks 300 uh, this item so the price should also be updated automatically or here that is our uh, task for a next lecture stay tuned